Jay's got a hot year. take for us. Okay, Jay, what is your hot take in the hot take safe zone? The Milwaukee Bucks are toast. They are not going to do anything of significance this year. They might make the conference finals, but that's the absolute peak that this season could could present. But is, all right, I'm me, afraid. Me, hold on, hold on. I'm hold afraid on. of saying this in in real life. <laughs> I will only say this in the hot take safe zone. Really, their their chances let, of a championship let me, are gone. Okay, okay. So when you say toast, you're saying they can't right. win a championship. They year. will not because win you a saying you okay. saying them going to the conference finals sounds successful to me. I mean, you know, yeah. Giannis wouldn't consider that a failure. Well, the equipment manager's got to step it up. <laughs> the equipment manager does have to step it up. What a rant! That's, what a rant. that is an insane thing to say. I love. Um, have you seen the movie Knocked Up? You know, with Seth course. Rogen. Okay, of yes. course. There's a moment where he's trying to tell Catherine Heigl that he's doing, he's doing the dice thing too much. There's a <laughs> moment where he's trying to tell Catherine Heigl that um, he hates her hormones, right? And he's like, "Bleep you, hormones! You're a bleep, hormones!" Because um, he's he's fed up with her. It felt like. Giannis kept inserting himself into we've got to be better. We can't die on screens. I include myself. It felt like this like way of getting around throwing his team under the bus. He's saying, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus here. I'm including this as well. But the whole time I was like, okay, so you're just like, was it a genuine I'm including myself as well? It didn't seem like it. When you go after the equipment (laughs) manager, man, like, so I thought he brought in the equipment manager just, just to say, we're all in this together. Like, top but he to said bottom, the equipment manager's got to wash our jerseys our better. <laughs> Do you think his jersey was well, all right? So, so, what what setting on the washer do we think is happening? Because he's not hand washing these jerseys, right? Yeah, maybe he sh- are the shrunk? shorts cool? Honest, shorts are shorts are cool, right? Like the shorts have been washed perfectly. It's just the jerseys that, or did he mean uniforms? Is he talking the whole thing? Josh, have you ever gotten your uniform like? Hung up in your locker, and you're like, "What the hell has happened here? This no. is dirty." No, and I don't know. No. <laughs> I, I, I think it was a cop out. I don't. I don't. I think it's a cheap shot at somebody who has literally nothing to do. Yeah, with anything on the back. I'll say court. it. I'll say it. This is not my hot take. This is as bad as Blake punching that equipment manager. <laughs> Sorry, maybe not as bad. Oh, <laughs> forgot about that. that? that oh was man, fun, that was a fun little, <laughs> fun little jaunt. That, that was, was forgot about that was wild times. Um, <laughs> okay, so Jay, you're saying they their title hopes they're, are they're done. they're toast, and the most important part of that Giannis rant was not we're dying on screens. It was not throwing the equipment match under the bus. As wild as that was, it was his direct shot Mm. at Adrian Griffin and the coaching staff. Yeah. Now, defensively, we have to have a plan, Giannis said. What is our strategy? Are we going to give up a lot of open threes? Are we going to let them get in the paint when they go in the post? Are we going to stay with ours and play one-on-one? What is our strategy? He literally does not know what they are trying to accomplish on defense. He does not know what they want to take away. And this goes back to Mike Budenholzer, who was – maybe the very best in the league at creating a defensive system to take away certain parts of the game, to give up other parts of the game. You and Giannis funny? is like, I-, I miss Mike Budenholzer. Adrian Griffin is not doing this right. They, uh, well, maybe you shouldn't have got him fired. Uh, then they are actually the second best team in the league at a- allowing three point percentage. They have the, they allow the second lowest three point percentage, but they're, because I just looked these numbers up last night. I think they're 12th in wide open three pointers um, attempted, allowed, and the teams shoot the worst in the league on what their their three point numbers in terms of defense are completely smoke and mirrors. Teams just literally aren't hitting them against them. They are getting like, very lucky. They're getting, they're getting them yeah, up. They're, just they're getting in, yeah. They're right? getting them up. They're just not. They're going in a 34 percent clip against the bucks this year and that is going to rise and and you could you could look at their record you could look at a lot of stuff they've done they're a good team just overlook all of these issues they're 25 and 11 but Giannis sees all the problems here like there there are underlying issues here that the team is just not good enough defensively he doesn't think the coaching staff clearly is doing the right job defensively and that's that's the issue to me and what are the answers here 
where where are the defensive minded wings on this team? Who 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 is that going to well, be? Jay Crowder, be Andre Jay Crowder's Jackson? hurt. Is it going to be Marshawn Bochamp? Uh, Jay Crowder, like, yeah, is he that anymore? I don't know. Uh, and so he's someone who knows what to do. I think there are personnel issues. Giannis thinks there are foundational issues, and they need tenacity. Structure on the court. issues. Uh, Why? And then they, I, they, I look they, at they the stats. The equipment manager. The Bucks with Giannis and Dame both on the court, both of them on the court have a six point seven net rating, which is good. Which it's, is good. It's, it's really good, but it's not what but you would think. When you have good. your two superstars on the court, you should be trouncing teams because most of their mm-hmm. minutes, let's be honest, are probably with Brooke Lopez. A lot of them are probably with Chris Middleton. They have their best players on the court with those guys. Yeah. And they're still like just just pretty good. Just I good. just want to I just want to remind everyone listening or watching on YouTube. It's the hot take safe zone. You can't now go and say, Oh, Jay King doesn't believe in the Bucks. What a what about you have to accept it, okay? We just mm-hmm. this is how this is how the hot take safe zone works. We 